Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are here at the crib, guys, which is probably the only time I'll ever have to say that in WoW. Um, but um, our little guy here, Reginald, is not doing too good. We are not finding a good food source for him. But it looks like Apartho has another option for us. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and do this mission and maybe piddle around here in Uldum because looks like there is an invasion going on. We can get ourselves a cache. I am queued up for the first wing of Nihilotha again because we want to see um, Rathion's boss fight. I have not really had time to jump into the second wing. Like you see, there's an average wait time of 50 minutes. But it looks like we have all the DPS queued up. If we just get some tanks and healers, we'll be in business. So maybe it, it might be sooner than I think. But um, we're at least going to take care of the mission for Hapartho do some dailies and kind of see where we go. If we're able to get Rathion by the end of this episode, awesome. And then we can start focusing on the other wings. Missing some of the other bosses, I don't necessarily care about. It's just Rathion's been a big part of the story. So I think we kind of owe it to him, you know. Open your heart to the light. Fetid Flays. You know, it occurred to me that since this creature has been imbued with void energy, it may prefer a more corrupted food source. I speak, of course, of the minions of Nazoth. It's a long shot, but it's worth a try. Collect 12 pieces of corrupted flesh from creatures in areas under assault by Nazoth minions. Dionys Haka. Well, I'll tell you what, you're in luck there, Reginald. We are right in the middle of a place under assault. So, let's go ahead and find some minions, kill them. And see if Reginald, if, if, if the food that we bring back is a little bit easier on Reginald's stomach. Flesh beast. Oozes. Gotta have a little bit of variety in this meal. I don't know if the oozes would count as um, food, but we're about to find out. Corrupted flesh, corrupted flesh. Looks like I only got that from the flesh beasts, which makes sense. I think we need to go and actually find some. Yeah, drive bot bath and Zot's forces. Aberrations. This actually would be a lot better if we were in. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Here's a ton of flesh beasts. In Pondaria. But I think this will work out nicely. Come along, come along. Gotta do some farming here. Oh, that is a... Corrupted Beheader. Who we are about to get acquainted with. Now the thing about the Flesh Beasts is we have to be careful. Because they do have a stacking debuff that if you're not too careful will sneak up on you. My gear level's pretty good. It's almost at 450, but... And do you have any meat on you? Corrupted flesh. And corrupted mementos. Five more to go. It looks like it's flesh beasts or nothing. Our corruption level is up a bit. And I'm not going to waste my killing spree on these guys. Saw a bigger group just up the road. At least there's a 100% drop on this stuff. That makes me happy. Flesh beast, flesh beast. Sounds like a terrifying children's book. Or wholesome, I guess, depending on your preference. Alright, summoner. Not what I was looking for, but... 
Uno mas. And these guys don't disappear when the summoner goes boom. Eh, that seems a lot of work for just one flesh beast. How about you? You'll do. All by your lonesome. And sorry for no video up on Wednesday. I was having to uh, go to a funeral and deal with all that kind of stuff, so... Apologies in advance, or not in advance, but in retrospect. Hopefully I don't have to go to another one for a very, very long time. That's the kind of world I want to live in. Oh, uh, we got a healer. Average wait time is 34. So help me, if we jump into the game and um, they've already taken out Rathion somehow, I'm going to be I'm going to be slightly upset. Okay there, Reginald. Here comes Din Din. He likes it. Well, just look at that appetite. Eh, yeah, huzzah. Each day is a blessing. Well done. Our little guy cleaned his plate. <laughs> it's a good thing, too. I was not looking forward to asking Feroas to f for fresh Tolvier corpses. Honestly, I, th I thought that's where we were going to go with it. <laughs> and we've done all we can for today. Be kind to those less fortunate. Good job there, Reginald. Good, good, good. And doing that, we've got 23% of the invasion taken care of. So I guess we will go ahead and see if we can find any special events or chests to open, bosses to kill. I don't really take out the trash like the little binkies. It, no matter where you go, it's always just 1%. So let's see. Even the banners, we burn the banners, 1%. Destroy the obelisks, 1%. And there's no way to decurse myself. I am not a shaman. And chances are, normally when there's an evasion like this, everyone's running around and doing stuff, so bosses tend to get taken out quickly. Special events get uh, finished. And when I mean special events, I'm talking about the stuff that has, like, the swords cross. Where we have to destroy something or do a little puzzle. Oh, there's a boss. And the raid finder is paused. I don't know why. Shoth the Darkened. Oh! Vision of Destiny. Cross your fingers, guys. Big bucks, no whammies. Ready up, people. Oh, it's going to take us right back to the queue, isn't it? There's six DPS that have not queued. All right, five, four, three, two, one. That one healer is going to mess us up. Hey! Maybe. Come, my chosen. Witness the fate of this world. Oh no! The one shall herald oh. is coming. Yep, we're here. My dear friends, a wondrous honor has been bestowed upon you. The chance to embrace your destiny. Nazoth has shown me the inevitable truth that to save Azeroth, we must accept his gift. Uh-huh. Kneel and serve. It is the only way. Eh, uh, how about no? I'm trying to remember the fight. Hold on. Adventure Guide. Uh, okay, Molten, the opposite way that he flies. Focus damage on Crackling Shards, move to a safe place during Burning Cataclysm. Run through the Crackling Shards while afflicted with Burning Madness. Alright. I'll probably mess that up, but we'll give it a go. 
I'm glad we came back to this. Look at the planet. Not what I expected, considering we just saw the ruins the first time we came to Nihilotha. This reminds me of uh, Malagos. Hopefully with not <laughs> with not nearly as much pain <laughs> as it was during Wrath. Oh, did someone leave? Hmm. Oh! Alright, now remember, this is Stan... Ow, okay. He turned around and tail whipped us. Didn't really have a chance to react to that, but... Standard dragon fight, which means that you go ahead and focus on the flank. I'm gonna go ahead and... And there's Searing Death. Avoid the Searing Death. Searing death bad. Basically anything with searing that doesn't involve stakes. They must be Someone's wearing a uh, Scarlet Crusade costume. A lot of the fights in this... Uh, oh. Okay, burning cataclysm. Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh! So you go all the way to the opposite end. In this little corner. <laughs> the floor is lava. <laughs> Literally and figuratively. Alright. And that's pretty much the fight. Except for... These shards are about to pop up. I will see you burn. I don't have the debuff or anything for her, so I will just keep on keeping on with the slicing and the dicing. I still have the volume down on the fight because there's a lot of people casting things and doing things. Um, yes. someone what was that guy. Do, 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 do. The world shall burn. Where to? Where to? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Yeah. You don't have a whole lot of time. But at least it gives you that little leeway, breathing room. I don't know if walking on the lava, how much damage that does, because I just don't don't want to find out. Whew. You think yourselves immune to the madness? Okay. There's the. Now we have to focus on these guys. The people who have the buff can just run through them. Take out the trash here. Okay, and he's invincible until all of those are dealt with. And then... Why resist? Give yourselves to the flames. I did it! Front of Dragon Bed. I will see you burn. Be minus 50 DKP. For those of you who remember the old, the old ways. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that video. I highly recommend it. Just put in minus 50 DKP as the title. It's a Anixia raid that goes horribly, horribly wrong. Oh! Oh! Your lungs will turn to ash. Ah! Tried. People were trying to get him down before that cataclysm. And there we go. You tread within a vision of 
what was and what will be. My empire is this world's inevitable destiny. Will you shut up? Signal interference negated. Connection restored. You're back. What happened? Eh, you know. Zat doing the Zat things. I that it doesn't take much for my friends to believe I betrayed them. Champions, that vision was as much for me as it was for you. Nazoth wants us to believe that my corruption is inevitable. Doubt me, if you must. But know that I will not rest until his smoldering corpse lies at my feet. Well, glad to see that this wasn't the, uh, the genuine article. Or genuine article. This is a really powerful, corrupted one. Okay, well now, we can go ahead and leave the instance group. They can find another DPS. The one not nearly as handsome. The dark visions have come to pass. The Black Empire rises in all doom. Yeah, yeah. We must so that's good. That was a fun fight. I enjoyed that. Now give me time to read up on what to do for the next wing. I don't think we have enough time for that in this episode. So what we're going to do is, let's we'll see. We've got some time to hopefully finish up the, oh, is that the big guy? <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. With his millions and millions of health. We may try and finish off this assault, and then I want to go over to um, the Chamber of Heart and show you guys the little lore things that you can find in there, the, the dialogue options, where some of the characters talk to each other. Ooh, treasure chest. Someone else had the same idea. Hmm? Oh, it's a treasure chest. Ah, there you are. Or is it? Yep, there you go. Do, 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 do. And we do get a little bit of progress opening it. The only problem with this area is that it's really concentrated. So people tend to just zerg the bosses when they pop up, except for the big guy that we saw. You notice that when we came back into the city, that one that we were looking at before it queued up, was very, very much dead. So we'll just search the desert here for a, a little bit. And move on. I wish certain things weren't just one, uh, one point. Here we go. High Guard Reshif. Ah, oh, Stargate Centaur weird design. Looks so good. 40%. And there is a special... Ooh, a summoning portal. What could go wrong? There's no summoning, summoning portal, unless... No, it says that it's up. And down. Void warp... Oh, Alright. I, I don't know what that is, but... Anyone taking... Nope. This looks like a one-person operation, doesn't it? That's a shame. Never get into a fight you can't vanish out of. Oh! Um, his Shock of the Four Winds is up. That's that rare spawn I was telling you guys that's in this individual tower. Let's avoid the... Creatures of the Void. See if I, we get a mount dropped for us. That would be awesome. Especially on camera. Let's 
This looks intimidating as all hell with the void effect. Yep, there he is. How's it going? Alright, any of us uh, ready to go find themselves a dragon here? It's an awesome looking mount. It's like that cobalt um, coloring with the lightning bolt. That would be so good for my shaman. Holy crap. I have the one inside the raid, but... Don't. No. no. Okay, at least tag him. Oh, is he... Oh, he's souped up for our level. That's awesome. I actually like that, so people can't just sit there and, like, one-shot. It's got to be a, like, a dedicated, significant thing. Well done. Well done. Still going to fight him at the flank, though. <laughs> Dragons will still dragon. Looks pretty basic, though. Lightning breath and probably a tail whip attack. And we have a dedicated tank. I think. Yeah, we do. We got a mighty bear tank that nearly just got knocked off into the abyss. <laughs> it's yeah, stay, stay in the middle, my furry friend. Nothing will make you more annoyed in this game than getting knocked out of the playing area. Like, in PvP, that uh, that is annoying, but that does happen. Especially if you're on the edge of something like Eye of the Storm or the Lumber Mill in Arathi Basin. When a uh, elemental shaman's there with Lightning Bolt. Or with Thunderstorm, rather. And, um... Oh, he's... Oh, that's an NPC. NPC isn't going to get knocked off. But if you're in the middle of a raid or something, and then all of a sudden you go flying, life uh, becomes unpleasant. And the reason that he's running around is because the tank has threat, but the hunter's pet is also. So we're in the line of fire because he's going back and forth between the hunter pet and the actual tank. That's why you always, during a boss fight as a hunter, need to take Taunt off your pet. Turn it off for a little bit. Let it rest. And... Ah, Black Empire Belt. Anyone get anything? Oh, I was removed from the group. And no one mounted the beast, so I assume it did not drop. See, the one inside the raid I got on my very first time farming. Much to uh, <laughs> Z, uh, Magic Dream's irritation, because she had spent a long time farming that. But uh, I think that was where all of my luck ended when it came to that area. Because I have not been able to get anything to drop since. So let's go ahead and get back to business here. We're at 40%. Shorthos. Man, some of these guys have a ton of life. These aren't the ones you see in Pandaria that normally have like 1 or 2 million health max and you can deal with them quick. Hmm. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera, guys, and I will see you at the final boss. And that's our cue. Got ourselves a nice severed oculus here as well. Okay. So now we can go ahead and meet the boss, kill the boss, get our reward, and then head over to the Chamber of Heart. I just love the way that the 
the void folks tend to talk like that. <laughs> and I like the fact that we can actually understand it instead of just gibberish. But one of the int you know, I it's always kind of interesting to me. Like, I was think when I, I I was running around doing this stuff, I was thinking about expansions and the amazing intro movies. Like you have the one for Burning Crusade, and then you discover that the that the end boss of that raid is oh, don't you dare come at me. The main boss is uh, Kill Jaden, so it's still a Burning Crusade of a way, but they really push Illidan. In Wrath of the Lich King, it's Arthas. Arthas is the big bad. I think that's why so many people liked it. You had Deathwing for Cataclysm. In Mist Upon Daria, you really had no idea what was going on, and then you end up fighting uh, Garrosh at the end of it. Then you have um, Akamonde at the end of Legion, I believe. Okay, I was like, please don't let that worm walk up here and one-shot me. Stupid whale shark in the sky. This one in Battle for Azeroth, I really think if they were going for like a full-on, hey, we're taking on the last of the old gods, that that should have been represented in the intro instead of Sylvanas being all super heroic <laughs> and uh, going against the Alliance outside of Lordaeron. I don't know. Sometimes it makes you wonder whether the writers know, like, they're at point A, and they start the expansion, and it kind of makes you, like, do you guys know where you're going with this? Do you know what point, do you know what the end game is? I don't know. This is something I've been thinking about. Kind of reminds me of uh, Battlestar Galactica, the, the reboot of the old 1980s series. That was very popular, but a lot of people didn't like how the series ended. And... I don't know if this is actually true, but I heard it that some of the... I don't know if it was like during certain seasons or what, but they were literally writing episode to episode. They really didn't know what the end game was until that final season. And that's very strange to me. I would hope... I mean, I assume writing television and writing stuff for video games shouldn't be like doing a D&D &D campaign. <laughs> I, I would hope that you would know where you're going. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've played a lot of things that I've enjoyed that have been that format, but always interesting with so much money is on the line that they would choose to do it in that particular way. The visions abate and the Black Empire wanes. For now, you have given us hope, champion. The High Priest sounds exactly like a Gaul from SG-1. Actually reminds me of uh, the voice they did for Ra in the movie. Okay. Like I said before, I was really glad we did that fight. That was so cool. I'm, strangely, despite the fact I've been giving out about how stuff's... I'm actually fairly easy easy to please when it comes to stuff. As long as I'm entertained and they don't... They maintain the, the integrity of what it's supposed to be. Are you in need? Alright, can I has fat loots? Ooh, 2,000 gold, gloves of the insatiable Ma at 445 with a prismatic shard. Critical, ah, uh, I like that critical strike. Wink. I'll put those on and get myself a gem for it. Alright, well let's go ahead and finish the rest of the episode in the Chamber of Heart, guys. Shouldn't take too long. Alrighty. So, not a whole lot of people in the chamber this morning. It's probably for the best. So, who should we start with? I actually need to see... Well met! Nope. Chromie doesn't have anything. 
I counsel the High Chieftain. Is there something you wish to discuss? All right. So there's two little bits of lore that you can get in here, um, dialogue between the characters. The first one um, revolves around Alex Straza and um, was it Marithra, who is the new kind of the new green aspect after the unfortunate incident in Legion. Because we already saw Alex Straza comfort um, Caligos and basically, you know, pat him on the back and say, hey, you're going to do a great job. This is a very similar situation. So Alex Straza still very much being the mother of dragons. Non, non Khaleesi reference. From pain, we draw strength. The Aspects have watched over this world for eons. While there may only be a few of us left, I will do everything in my power to protect life on Azeroth. Stay a while and listen. Greetings. Lifebinder. Might I ask you something? Of course, Marithra. You may always speak openly with me. Long did my mother lead the green dragon flight as the aspect of the dream. Yet she always seemed distant, as if she were in two places at once. You knew her before you became aspects. What was she truly like? We were sisters. The only two of our brood to survive. Inseparable ever since our birth. Some believe that as the smallest among us, she was also the weakest. They were wrong. Ysera was strong in a way most could not understand. But hers was a strength on which Azeroth depended. So, in other words... Oh. I do not know if I possess such strength, neither did if she. I can fulfill the None task the that lies ahead of me. But we rose to the challenge, as will you. Have faith in yourself, Marithra. Like that was Thank you, Alex Straza. I will do my best to live up to my mother's legacy. You done? There's a long pause there. I think that's supposed he's she's supposed to be talking when Alex that's that was a weird kind of overlap. Still, I like the fact of Alex Straza, you know, letting her know she's gonna do fine. I actually need to check something. Um It's like back in home. Wrath of the Lich King, Ice Crown. Oh, Belithra. Okay, I just want—I was wondering if that was uh, the one that we would have to heal in Ice Crown Citadel. Not the case. Now here is the interesting conversation. We remember that um, Ebonhorn and Rathion, sons of Deathwing, um, they didn't haven't really interacted at all. Well, I knew you would come. We must do our part to safeguard Azeroth. Stay a while and listen. May the ancestors watch over Atheon. How did you know that I had begun to hear Nazoth's whispers? One of my agents was watching over you. I knew that if you left the protection of High Mountain, you would become vulnerable. I did not realize you had such personal concern for my well-being. Of course. You are my brother. The only one I have. That's short and sweet and to the point, as you expect brothers of a black dragon to, <laughs> to actually do. I like the fact that Rathion's getting hugged by this tauren and his very large swords. But still, a little bit of flavor goes a long way. A little bit of voice acting goes a long way, and I'm glad that they have that scene. And, uh, we were able to, we know that, uh, Rathion did not get corrupted by all those pages, at least yet. So... Um, all in all, we got ourselves a glove upgrade, we were able to beat Rathion, and uh, also got a new food so source for Reginald and got some more. Can't get much better than that. So we will go ahead and end the episode here, and in the next one, we'll go ahead and uh, queue up for the next wing of Nihilotha. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Later days, everyone.